Hello everybody and welcome to Literacy Live from Leeds Playhouse. My name is Lisa and for the next half an hour we're going to be going on our last adventure together. We'd love to know who's joining us today, so grown-ups let us know in the comments on YouTube and Facebook. And please share any of your children's ideas or comments there too. We'd love to see any photos or drawings as well, you can send those in to Leeds Playhouse. Okay, before we start, make sure you've got a lovely space around you so that you can move around a little bit and you're not going to tread on anything and um, your grown-ups can help you with that um, if you're at home. The other thing to remember is, if you hear this bell, it means it's time to stop and look back at the screen because we've got some more information to tell you about the next part of the session. So if you hear the bell, have a look at the screen and see what's coming up next. Okay, are we ready? This week we are going on a fairy tale adventure. Think about all the different fairy tales. Have a little think. Can you think of any? Okay, shout them out at the screen if you can think of any and I will tell you a few as well. What about Cinderella? Is that your favourite fairy tale? Think about what Cinderella might do. She might be scrubbing the floor like this. So have a little go at being Cinderella and scrubbing that floor and making it lovely and shiny. Have a go at being Cinderella. Or your favourite fairy tale may be Sleeping Beauty. So imagine that you are cutting down the brambles to get to Sleeping Beauty. So get your axe and go chop, chop, chop. You have a go at that. It might be the three little pigs. That might be your favorite fairy tale. So imagine that you're making a house of bricks. Get your bricks and get another one, build it higher and higher because we don't want that wolf to get in, do we? And higher and higher. Another favourite might be the gingerbread man. Do you remember what happens in the gingerbread man? See if you can do this with me. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Can you have a go at doing that? Have a go at running like the gingerbread man. Fantastic. Can we think of any others? Oh, I've got one more. Little Red Riding Hood. Now, what does Little Red Riding Hood do? She skips through the woods. Show me how you're going to skip. That's it. Off she goes to see Grandma in the woods. Now, are any of those your favourites? I've got a different favourite and it's called, can anybody guess? It's called Jack and the Beanstalk. That's my favourite one. Imagine that you're Jack climbing up higher, up to the top of the beanstalk. Show me how you can climb right to the top. You have a go at doing that now. See how quickly you can climb to the top of the beanstalk. Okay. So, this afternoon we are going to tell the story of Jack and the beanstalk and you are going to help me. There was once a boy called Jack and his mum and they didn't have much money. So they had to think of things that they could do together and they used to play games together. So we're going to have a go at one of those games this afternoon and it's called In the Bag. Jack loved words with the sound J, J, J. Can you say that? Well done. And Mum loved words with the sound beginning with M, mm, M. Mm. So we had j, j for Jack and m mm for, that's right, for mum. Well done. So I've got a bag and we're going to have a little think about which of these objects belongs to Jack and which belong to mum. So depending on the sound of the word, we might be able to find out who, which one belongs to who. Are you ready? Let's get the first one out. So, oh, have a look at this. Have a look at that. What is it? It's, what sound do you think it begins with? 
J. Yeah, that's right. It's a jug. So who do you think that belongs to? Mum or Jack? That's right, it belongs to Jack. So we'll pop that there. So Jack has got one object. Let's have a look what else we've got in here. Oh, have a look at this. What's that? Have a look. What sound does this be begin with? It begins with mmm for medal. Well done. So who would that belong to? Would it be Jack or would it be Mum? That's right, it would be Mum. So Mum's got something in her pile now. Next we have got, ooh, what's this? Have a look. What's that? It is, what's the sound? It begins with, mmm, mouse. That's right, so who does that belong to? To mum. Well done. There you go, mum. What else have we got in here? Ooh, what's this? What's that? Does it begin with a j sound or a m mm sound? Have a little think. It's juice. Well done. Juice. So that would belong to Jack. Well done. Give it a shake. What else have we got? Oh, that was noisy, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, what's this? Can you guess what it is just by the sound? What's that? Can you see? Does it begin with a M mm or a J? Mm, that's right, it's money. So this belongs to Mum. Well done. There you go, Mum. Have we got anything else in here? Oh, one more thing. See if you can get this right. So, what's this? Does it begin with J or does it begin with M? Mm? Have a guess. What is it? It's jam. Well done. So this one belongs to Jack. Well done. So that was one of the games that Jack and his mum used to play together. Back to the story. Jack and his mum didn't have very much money. So one day, mum said, we're going to have to sell the cow, Daisy the cow, to make some money. Now think about how Jack would feel when he has to get rid of Daisy the cow. Can we think about how his body would look and how his face would look? Can you show me do you think he would be happy? Do you think he would be sad? How, how would his body stand? I think his shoulders might be a bit like this and he would look a little bit sad like that because he doesn't want to sell Daisy the cow. Can you show me? It's quite sad. Well done. Now what might Jack say if he's got to sell Daisy the cow? So he stood like this, he's looking quite sad and he might say, I'm going to miss you, Daisy. Can you think of anything else he might say and have a go at saying it? Off you go. Now, what about mum? Poor mum hasn't got enough food in the cupboard, so she's going to have to sell Daisy. So think about how mum would stand. How would she be feeling? She might be a bit desperate because she needs money for food. She might be feeling sad. So how is she going to look? Have a little think. So I think she might be a bit like this. Like, what can I do? So show me how you might stand if you were pretending to be mum. And what might mum say? What might she say? We're going to have to sell the cow, Jack. Can you think of something that you might say if you were mum? Have a little go at doing that. Done. Fantastic. So Jack had to take Daisy the cow to market. So can you imagine that you are holding Daisy and you're taking her to market? Off you go. She's following you as you go. And on the way, Jack met an old man. 
and he was selling beans, lots and lots of different kinds of beans. And I'm going to tell you about some of those beans now. What he wanted to do, he wanted to give Jack some beans and take Daisy the cow. So Jack, Jack was going to have a think about this. He wanted to see what kind of beans the man was offering first. So let's have a look at some of these beans. Can you imagine a runner bean? Show me how you're going to run. That's it. You have a go. When I say runner bean, runner bean. Show me how you're going to run. Well done. Another kind of bean that the old man had was a jumping bean. Can you guess what you have to do for the jumping bean? That's right, you have to jump. Show me your jumping bean. Well done, have a jump. So he had um, jumping beans and runner beans. Another kind of bean he had was a French bean. And the French bean said, bonjour. Can you have a go at saying that? Bonjour. Well done. Another bean that he had was a baked bean. Do you like eating baked beans? They're quite small, aren't they? So go as small as you can, crouch down onto the floor and show me what you look like as a baked bean. Well done. And another kind of bean that the old man had was a jelly bean. Can you show me? How wibbly and wobbly you are as a jelly bean. Well done. Very wibbly wobbly. And then the other one he had was a magic bean. Wow. Can you say that? Wow. Fantastic. So he had all these different kinds of beans. And now I'm going to see if you can remember any of those beans. So I'm going to shout out the type of bean. And then you have to have a go at doing the action. Are you ready? Fantastic. OK, runner bean. Well done. Jelly bean. Fantastic. French bean. Bonjour. Uh, magic bean. Wow. Fantastic. What else did we have on there? Jumping bean. Off you go. Well done. All those different kinds of beans. Now, which one is Jack going to go for? He had a little think and he decided that he was going to go for the magic beans. So imagine that you are the old man and you are passing over the magic beans. OK, so think about how the old man might stand. He might be a little bit crouched over and then he's got his hand with his beans and he's going to pass them to Jack. And the old man is going to take Daisy the cow. Can you show me that as a statue? So don't move. Have a little go. Show me your beans. Well done. Fantastic. Jack said goodbye to Daisy. Bye, Daisy. Can you say bye-bye to Daisy as well? Well done. And he went home with the magic beans. When he got home, his mum was not happy. In fact, she was very, very cross. Can you show me mum's cross Face. So show me how she might look if she was feeling very cross. She didn't want the beans, she wanted the money so she could go and buy food. But Jack had bought, um, had swapped the cow for beans instead of money. She wasn't happy. Show me mum looking very angry. She's not happy, is she? Can you show me that frown on your face? So Jack went up to bed and Mum got the beans and she threw them out of the window. She was so cross with Jack. And then the night came and the beans began to grow. 
So imagine that you are the bean in the ground. So pop down like this, really, really small. And I want you to show me how you're going to grow into a big, enormous beanstalk. Are you ready? So very slowly, we're going to grow and grow and grow taller and taller and taller and taller and on your tiptoe so you're stretching really really high right up to the sky how high can you reach the beanstalk was enormous and it reached right up into the sky and through the clouds the next morning when jack woke up he looked out of the window and saw the enormous beanstalk oh wow how did that happen? It was really, really high. Can you guess what Jack decided to do? Have a little think. What did Jack decide to do? That's right. He decided to climb up the beanstalk. So let's imagine that we're Jack at the bottom of the beanstalk and we're going to have a go at climbing to the very top. You go start climbing up the beanstalk oh, it takes quite a long time because it's very very high keep going are you at the top yet a bit further keep going oh it's hard work isn't it my arms are starting to ache now i don't know about yours keep going to the top eventually after quite a lot of climbing jack reached the top of the beanstalk and all that he could see were lovely, white, fluffy clouds. And a little bit in the distance, he could see a castle. The castle wasn't small. It was huge. Can you hold your hands out as far as you can to show me how big the castle was? It was enormous. Now, Jack was very brave. So he decided that he was going to tiptoe up to the castle and maybe even go inside. So can you tiptoe with me up to the castle? Let's have a look. We're going to creep to the castle on those fluffy white clouds. That's it. Is anybody following you? No, keep going. And when he got to the castle, he creeped inside and started to have a little look around. And can you guess what he could see? Have a little think. Who might live in the castle? Have a think. That's right. He heard a noise. And see if you can guess who it might be. Have a look at this. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Watch out, everyone. Here I come. <gasps> who do you think that might be? Any ideas? I think you're right. I think it might be a giant. <gasps> can you say that really loudly? Can you imagine that you are the giant? I'll say the first line and then can you shout it in your best giant voice? Fee, fi, fo, fum. Your turn. Watch out, everyone. Here I come. Oh, they, they were really good giant voices. Well done. Fantastic. Can you imagine that you are the giant? So think about how a giant might stand. Maybe like this, maybe like this. Oh, wow, they're fantastic giants. And maybe have a little stomp around just to practice. Stomp, 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 turn around. Stomp, 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 big strides. Now the giant was very busy. He was counting 
is gold. And I want you to help me count the gold. Imagine that you're the giant with your big hand and your gold. And we're going to count 10 gold coins in your best giant voice. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, the giant was very happy because he loved nothing more than lots of gold coins. But after all that counting, he was tired. So he decided to have a little nap. So he went to sleep. While he was asleep, Jack had a look around. And you'll never guess what he saw. He saw this. Do you know what this is called? It's called a harp. And it plays beautiful harp music. Bing, bing, bing. It's gorgeous. But this just wasn't any harp. It was a magic harp by the looks of it. So he saw the harp. The other thing he saw in the corner was this. What is that? You're right. It's a golden hen and it lays golden eggs. So Jack started to have a little think. And can you guess what he decided to do? That's right. He decided to take the harp and put it under his arm and to take the golden hen. And he was thinking, how can I carry this? if I've got to get back down the beanstalk. So he decided to carry the hen on his head, just like that. So the hen is on his head and the harp is under his arm and he's tiptoeing out of the castle. But he didn't realise one thing. As he was getting closer to the beanstalk, he didn't realise that the harp was magic and it started to say help 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 what do you think happened next listen to this sound <laughs> oh no who is that you're right, it's the giant. He's woken up because he's heard the harp crying for help. And he's thought, what is going on? And can you remember what the giant says? Have a look at this. In your best giant voice, fee fi fo fum Watch out, everyone, here I come. Can you have a go at saying that in your best giant voice? Really loudly, I'll say the first line and then you shout it out. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Watch out everyone, here I come. Oh, that was a great giant voice. Now, can you show me how the giant might move? So get your big giant body ready and we're going to do big strides and big stomps. You ready? Stomp! Stomp! Oh, it's very loud, this giant. He's getting closer to Jack and Jack has got the golden hen on his head, the harp under his arm and he's going closer and closer and closer to the beanstalk and he gets there he gets onto the beanstalk and he starts to climb down the beanstalk but he can see the giant up there following him so he tries to go faster and faster and faster and he gets nearly down to the bottom and he shouts for his mum mum help there's a giant coming down the beanstalk quick get the axe 
So mum rushes out with her axe on her shoulder and she gets the axe and she goes chop, chop, chop. Oh my goodness me, thank goodness. The beanstalk falls down to the floor with a crash. The giant was never seen again. But Jack and his mum lived very happily at home with their hen laying those golden eggs and their beautiful harp so they could listen to the beautiful music and sell the golden eggs so that they could buy lots of lovely food and live happily ever after. What did you think to that story? Did you like it? There's lots of action in that story and I hope you enjoyed pretending to be Jack climbing up the beanstalk and pretending to be the giant. He was, he was very, very busy and very fun, I thought. We really enjoyed that. So just have a little think. Which part of this afternoon's session did you enjoy the most? Just have a little think. I'm going to show you the bit that I like the best and you have to guess which bit that is, okay? So, let me think which bit did I like the best. Okay, I'm going to go like this. You have to try and guess. I'm not going to say the words to begin with. You've just got to guess. I'm going to go on my tiptoes and I'm going to go like this. Which bit of the story was that? Or which game was it? Have you got it? It was the French bean saying bonjour. I really liked playing the bean game. Which part of today's session did you enjoy the most? Can you show me now? Was it climbing up the beanstalk or was it pretending to be the giant? Have a little go and show me. Fantastic. Well done. Now we're coming to the end of our session. So we're going to do our cool down. So if you remember, if you sit on the floor and show me your starfish fingers, well done, and your little finger, and we're going to do some deep breathing just to finish our session. So get your finger, and as we go up the arm, we're going to breathe in, and down the arm, we're going to breathe out, and in, and out. And breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And then a nice big breath for the last one. Breathe in and out. And hopefully your body has relaxed and you're feeling nice and calm after all that excitement with the fairy tales. So, We've come to the end of the session and I would just like to say a big thank you for everybody who has joined us over the past six weeks. I hope you've had as much fun as we've had. We've had lots and lots of fun. And don't forget, if you want to watch the sessions again, you can find them on Facebook and also on Leeds Playhouse website. So have a look if you want to watch any of the sessions again. And that's it. For now, we'd just like to say have a lovely Easter and goodbye from Leeds Playhouse. Bye-bye.